Are we gonna sing? Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear lads. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Aunt Janice and Uncle Bart from the Bugatti's. Happy birthday! It's great to be part of this celebration with you. Happy birthday, Bart, Bart and Janice. And Janice. <laughs> we're we're uh, on the glacier in Alaska at uh, one of the dog camps, and uh, we're thinking of you and just want to wish you a happy birthday and keep mushing on. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. And so all this time has passed and I love that it has culminated in them being in Tucson so my sister and I get to enjoy each other at least every other week. We have lunch together and we still haven't run out of things to talk about. And I know they are so proud of their two daughters they raised and did such a wonderful job raising them and, uh, and proud as they should be. And that huge brood that I see every time they get together for a reunion that they have been responsible for creating. You guys certainly have grown into a whole bunch of people starting from that young couple that came to Sycamore to um, be introduced to my parents. Happy birthday, Grandma! Happy birthday, Grandma! Happy birthday, Grandpa! Happy birthday, Grandpa! <laughs> we just wanted to say happy birthday and that we love you. Can you say we love you? Come here, Cade! Say, love you. We love you. Love you. And we are so grateful and thankful for you guys and the constant prayers and love that we receive from you all the time. I wish you guys the happiest 80th birthday ever. Hey, this is Tyler and Allie. Just wanted to say happy birthday to my beautiful grandma and my handsome grandpa. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday. I hope you guys have a blessed, great day. I miss you so much. I can't wait to see you in August. All right, to our two favorite octogenarians, we just want to say happy birthday and um, just have a little something to share here. It says, what? <laughs> Does that work? Maybe you ready to read that one, Dick. Mark Twain said that life would be infinitely happier if we could only be born at age 80 and gradually approach 18. <laughs> okay, and here's another one. From Charles Schultz. From Charles Schultz. He says, just remember, once you are over the hill, you begin to pick up speed. So, so okay. Jan, we want to wish you a very, very happy 80th birthday. You're looking more beautiful at 80 than you did at 79. <laughs> and a belated happy birthday to Bart. Hey, Bart and Janice. Just calling to say happy 80th birthday. I kept saying anniversary, but I meant birthday. I wish I could be there to enjoy it with you guys. But I'll see you soon. Love you and have a good time. To Bart, who put up with my personal score lowering tricks of golf for all those years, like my accidental foot kick, the three feet from the whole gimmies, and the oops, that was just a practice swing. Shots. It was fun golfing with you all those years on the beautiful courses in Arizona. And if they ever make the holes in the greens bigger for girls, well, I might be able to keep up with you. And, by the way, do you remember those early morning excursions in Michigan when you and I got up long before the sun rolls, grabbed a couple of donuts for breakfast, and went fishing on that crystal clear lake at the Boy Scout camp? Oh, it was beautiful out there. We never caught anything, but... Well, I have a confession to make. Those fish on my side of the boat, they sure love those donuts. I am sending lots and lots of wonderful wishes for your birthday too. And thinking about how grateful I am for this long, long friendship. Fun-filled, Bart, many years, wonderful times. Love you. Happy birthday. So here it is, your 80th year, and I did a little bit of research for this. I learned that in 1936, the year that you were born, the depression was full on, kind of depressing. Uh, Jesse Owens made superstardom uh, in the 1936 Olympics. This is another Olympic year. King Edward VIII abdicated his crown 
Mm -hmm. Hindenburg took flight. Uh, and Gone with the Wind was published. I also found out that according to ancient tradition, the number eight is fairly significant. And you get it? Because there's seven days a week, and eight is the first in a new series, the number eight represents salvation, resurrection, new birth. That's kind of cool when you think about your next chapter. Some famous people that were born in 1936 were Burt Reynolds, Ursula Andrus, Chris Christopherson, and Robert Redford, mom. Anyway, but nobody is more famous to me and to the family that you've created and more special than you two. And I give thanks to God for giving me two fantastic parents and all that they have created for me in my life and the gifts that they have given to my family. And I love you so much. Happy birthday. Hello, Janice and Bart. This is Eric, of course, and I wanted to just give you a brief message on your passage into octogenarianism. I've known you for a long time, 25 years in fact, and I've seen you wear a number of different hats and play a lot of roles in that time period. I just wanted to recount a few of them. Now, of course, you started off as a line eye, the two of you, that's where you met and fell in love and, and got married uh, shortly after you finished school. Then you progressed into being both Cubs fans, although Bart, I think you were a Cubs fan from the time you were seven. You also became solid Bears fans. I remember going to a few games with you there. And Bart, you became a hunter and a fisherman. And then when your grandkids came along, you became Red Devils fans. And you survived a number of winters in Chicago before you finally decided that this was too much to take and decided to move on to sunny Arizona and sit in the sunshine. But there's one role that you played that I'll always appreciate, and that's as beloved in-laws and good friends. Happy birthday. Hey, Grammar Boomer. I'm uh, here in your bedroom. Thank you for letting me use it right now. Uh, I just wanted to wish you guys a happy birthday. I love you two very much. 80 is a big deal. You guys don't look a day over 60. Love you too. Bye. Happy birthday, mom and dad. As you can see, I'm watching the Olympics. And just think, the next time the Olympics are on, you guys are going to be 84. Anyway, happy 80th birthday. I love you both dearly. And to Janice, you have now reached a new milestone and it's time for me to forgive you for all those incidents, those daily incidents when we were children. After all, I was kind of a pest, you know, the middle child for whom the rules are made kind of a pest. I'm sorry I can't be there on the actual day of your birthday, but on my next trip to Arizona, maybe we could do something special to celebrate. You know, like go for a horseback ride or something. Well, happy birthday, you two. Love you both. Happy 80th birthday, Grandma and Boomer. Hope you guys have had an awesome year. Um, you guys have created such an amazing family and group of friends around you, and we are so blessed to have you in our lives. Um, thank you for always being my biggest fan. Um, we love you so much. Happy birthday. Bart and Janice, for sending you this lovely champagne and these wonderful roses to celebrate your special anniversary. Happy 80th birthday! Hope you have a great birthday! We love you! And it's your birthday, so happy birthday! People are miserable all over the world on your birthday, so happy birthday! We love you! We love you! Bye bye! bye. If you show this to anyone at the family reunion, I will disinherit you. Do you understand me? That is funny. Hey, 